this video is going to be a bit different. We're going to be tie-dyeing, without the tying part, leather. Now this is a sheepskin that is 0.65 millimeters or one ounce. So really thin. It is a, I wouldn't call it gray, light tan color. It's not a solid white. I do have that, but I'm not going to work with that for this purpose. In addition, we're going to need shaving cream, whatever brand, some pipettes or droppers, and an assortment of leather dye. And this is alcohol-based leather dye. And then the one additional thing is some kind of a mat to work with. Maybe a bucket, um, a drawer, pot, something. In this case, I'm just using a silicone mat that I think is made for dog food. It will work perfectly for this. So off to dye. All right, so all we need to do is spray on the shaving cream in an area a bit larger than what you're going to be dyeing. Then you just take each of the dyes and drip it on randomly or whatever pattern you want to try for. Then I'm just going to use a tool to move this around. Using gloves, you're just going to put the leather face side down into the shaving cream. And then I'm just going to press lightly to make sure it fills any voids. And then I'm just going to let it sit there for about a couple of hours. The dye will actually start coming through to the back side and that's when I pull it off. It's been a couple of hours so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and then rinse it off with 91% isopropyl, just to be able to get all the residual shaving cream off. Okay, there's probably another solution other than using alcohol. If somebody has a suggestion, I'll happily take it versus buying alcohol. But anyway, I'm going to set this off to the side, let it dry, and then we'll go to the next step of making something. Okay, so I've attached the sheepskin to a backing of some veg tan, and it's around 2 millimeters. I think, which is about a five ounce leather that we will be working with.
I'm not sure where the one is that he was making in the video, but here are four others that were made from that same batch. Um, there we go. As you can see, the back sides, these are numbered already since they're available on the website. And each of them are like that. I believe the only one he made that had the thread crossing over the outer edge is the one in the video, and it was because he was trying something different. So the rest of these are all like this, and they are all available on the website, which is listed nicely right here and in the description. So this is the first video on any of the leather products. I think it's pretty cool to be able to tie-dye like this on the leather. I do have a couple more ideas as far as the leather goes and the tie-dye concept, so those will be coming up. Not sure if it's going to be anytime soon, probably within a month or so, would be my guess. Um, if you have any ideas, suggestions, something you might like to see, let us know down below and we'll see what we can do about that. And until next time, thanks for watching.